Hi, I'm Mike, and this is a Christchurch Video Makers tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of some really cool free software called Video Spin by Pinnacle. So the first thing you'll need is the software. Head for www.videospin.com and click on this button. You'll have to enter a few details, then you're free to download the package. While you're on the site, have a look around, there's lots of useful info in these links. Now let's see how it works. I'm going to start by adding a couple of clips to the timeline. The active clip is in green. If you mouse over an edge, you'll see the double arrow symbol. Then you can drag the edge of your clip to the desired length. If, however, you wish to cut the clip in half, move the mouse to the cut point and then click this button. You can click play at any time to watch your movie. That looks good there, Dale. That looks good. Just when they had lunch down by the tour, uh, the tour late there, and there's a whole lot of bunch of people yachting. Yeah. Oh, a lot of like that. The sound is a little loud on this clip. No problem. Just drag the orange line on the audio bar down a little. That looks good there, Dale. Let's add some transitions. Click the transitions button and pick one that looks good. In this case, fade in, crossfade, then fade out. Drag them to the desired parts of the clip. That looks good there, Dale. That looks good. Time to add titles. Spin comes as loads of preset titles. All are editable. Jag one down and double click on the text to bring up the editor. In this mode, the text will superimpose over the image. To change this so the text starts before the video, simply drag it up to the video timeline, like this. You may now need to alter the transition slightly. If it's too small to drag, increase the frame size by clicking the plus button, as demonstrated. Just play around with the sliders until you're happy. And this is how it looks. Let's add more audio. Spin comes with a collection of noises. If you wish to add a voiceover, here's where you'd load the file from. As for music, just click the note and choose from any mp3 in your collection. Drag it down onto the timeline. Then trim the end by placing the play bar at the point you'd like it to finish and hit the S key. The music's volume can be altered in the same way as the video's audio. Once the clip is finished and you've saved your work, hit the Make Movie button. Here, you just pick your format and hit Create File. AVI and YouTube are the only available free formats. MPEG and DivX require a small one-off payment. Find a suitable app directory, name your file, and it's done. Here's the result.
For more tutorials and video info, visit our website at www.chchvideo.org.nz. Thanks for watching.